Hello everyone, Ronnie J here, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get yourself a unique station ID call sign. You know, one of those WRIP, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz call signs. Well, it's very easy to do because uh, there's an organization called the National Association of Digital Broadcaster, NADB, and they are giving out call signs for those who are digital broadcasters, individuals who have internet radio stations. Uh, it's very easy to do. Just go to the website, the nab.org, and when you get there, just uh, read the paragraph at the top here. Uh, are you a DB? DB stands for Digital Broadcaster, and uh, by some estimates, there are more than 50,000 internet-only radio stations currently on the electronic air. And so that's a lot of uh, choices for listeners and a daunting challenge for you as a broadcaster. Yes, it's very competitive. So as it states here, we are the International Association of Digital Broadcaster, the NADB for short. And they are an advocacy group formed to help promote best practices and quality programming for webcasters and other streaming stations on the digital band, namely the internet. And um, Please understand that once you get yourself a call sign through the NADB, this is not a license, a totally separate thing. And there's no requirement that you even get yourself a call sign, but you know, you just don't want to make one up, but uh, it's very easy to get one. You register here and within two or three days, you'll have a beautiful certificate that you can hang in your home or in your studio showing that you are that call sign. So let's uh, let me show you how to start. Click on this blue click to join button. And as you scroll down, you'll see another one here. Register now. But before you do that, notice what it says here. It says, uh, what does it cost to be in any NADB member station? Uh, a two year membership for your radio station is only $28. Uh, and that's normally how you do it. Every two years, you can re register to keep that, uh, that call sign. Down here, why do you need a call sign? A unique call sign is the best way for your listeners to find you. For example, you may call your station, Florida's sunniest smooth jazz, but having listeners simply enter WSSJ, for example, into the internet connected radio is much more convenient than forcing them to key in an entire positioning phrase. That's true. And uh, once you join, you'll be able to list your radio station in this directory. Only takes a few minutes to do. So let's uh, go through the process of getting you a unique station ID call sign for your radio station. Let's click on register now. Now, the first thing you want to keep in mind here is uh, where is your station located? Are you on the East Coast or are you on the West Coast? Are you in Canada, Mexico, Bermuda, other? And so that's important. I'm going to assume the United States. If you live in another country, then click on the appropriate uh, region. So I'm gonna click on the United States. And it's important to understand here that your call sign is gonna begin with a K if you're west of the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River runs almost right down the middle of the United States. So if you're west of that, your radio station will begin with a K. For example, if I live, say, in California, and my radio station, I want uh, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, I want to a station name for that, station ID rather for that it will be called KRIP but since I live east of the Mississippi River on the East Coast then when I registered my station ID or call sign it would be WRIP so please take note of that scroll down to complete all the fields here enter your name enter your station's primary city pull down and select the state then under requested call sign you want to pull this down and say let's assume you're on the east coast you'll select that then enter in three digits for your radio station let's say if you wanted um w m e s i don't know what that is that's just something that just came to my head here let's say if you want that one so your call sign would be WMES hyphen DB. And you don't have to use the, the hyphen when you, your station, when you're 
doing a jingle. You don't have to say this is WMES-DB. You can say WMES. That's it. It's not a requirement. Okay, if you have a website, enter that here. And um, your term of registration. Two years, $28. Four years, $48. A six-year registration is $60. And a 10-year registration is $90. Then click to submit. That's all there is to it. And in about three days time, maybe less, you can choose uh, to have it uh, overnighted, I believe. But three days is not long to wait and you receive a certificate and your station ID is yours for this uh, term, whatever term you selected up here. Okay, so that is it. Uh, by the way, uh, notice here that when you clicked off the, the nabdb.org website, it took you over here to the IRUC website. This just is simply their sister website where they do all the registrations, internet, radio, uniform, call sign. Once you get your station registered, and once you have your certificate in hand, then you can come back. Let's go back to the, the home page of the nabdb.org website. And I'll show you where you can enter your station into the their directory. Up here where it says member directory, come here and select submit your station's info. You should have a logo, created a nice graphic. Not required, but it would be nice to have one because you can see here let's see if I can find something in fact let me take you before I do this let me show you the reason why I'm saying you should have a nice logo because once you submit your radio station into your directory your logo is going to appear so let me show you some examples here uh, for example here are some stations that are already in here here's one in uh, Misagua I think that's how you pronounce it Ontario Canada here's their logo Here's one in, from Canada. Here's one, San Francisco, California. Notice that's West Coast. So notice that their call sign is W, I'm sorry, it's K-A-B-L. And so there's the logo. So you want to upload a logo. They recommend a wide logo. In other words, you want it to be more horizontal than vertical, not necessarily square. Okay, so that's what you want to do, have a logo. So we go back to submit your radio station information and just scroll on down to this form here and fill out all the information, contact name, email, your station call sign, K or W, whatever, your IR, you see a faculty ID. It's not a requirement because there's no asterisk there. So you can ignore that. If you have a slogan, put a slogan there. We're smooth 24 hours a day or uh, WRP best mood jazz in Virginia studio phone um, this will be displayed if you enter your radio station so if you don't want a phone number listed don't put anything here if you have a station website enter it here select your genre if you have uh, another format for example in my example I have jazz music but I also entered in here smooth jazz if you have a Facebook page enter your URL here Twitter page, same thing. Instagram page, same thing. Other social media, enter it here. Your audio feed, that's going to be whoever you have with, uh, whoever your stream provider is, they should provide you with an audio stream link. I have Live 365, so I paste it in my Live 365 audio feed here. You may have a second audio feed. If you do, enter it here. Any additional information that you place here, you place it here. What I do is I, in this section where it says additional information, I simply enter in the um, the title of my website, WRP Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, and then I enter in the, a short description. The smoothest jazz radio station on the planet, streaming out of Fredericksburg, Virginia, something like that. And then it's here is where you have an opportunity to upload a logo. It's not required, but I highly recommend that you do. Then click on the recapture button here and then click submit. That's all there is to it. They'll contact you to let you know if there was any problems with your submission and you're on your way. Okay, so this is how you would um, get yourself a station ID call sign at the National Association of Digital Broadcasters, the NADB. This is Ronnie J. Thank you for listening.